Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. You know, we've had a lot of rain lately. It's the end of May, but it's a nice, cool, overcast day. You know, those kind of days that are really great for working out in the garden. Well, anyhow, you know, as gardeners, you know, we spend a lot of time preparing the soils and then we direct sow our seeds and our transplants and then we nurture and care for our plants as they grow and mature, you know, and so it's always exciting when harvest time comes. And so today I thought we would go harvest some of our curly leaf kale and it's located right behind me in the, underneath the row cover. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. You know, since my wife and I were plant-based now, we've adopted a plant-based lifestyle maybe about five years ago, at least it was for me. It's been only a couple of years for my wife, but you know, we've experienced, of course, amazing results in our health. And you know, leafy greens are one of those plants that we just love growing in our garden, you know, because their pick can come again. So, you know, for instance, kale or Swiss chard you know, mustard greens, as long as you pick the outer leaves on the plant, you know, you can continue to harvest those plants right through the season. And, you know, the leafy greens are just super, super healthy for us, you know, full of fiber and uh, antioxidants, you know, and, you know, my wife and I, we make smoothies here at our house with the, with the greens, you know, we add carrots and apples and uh, we just put them in our KitchenAid blender, some ice, and maybe some other types of fruit sometimes. And you know, but it's just amazing the the health benefits from making uh, smoothies. And we just add it all to our blender and just blend it all together and drink them. Yet we try to have it at least one big glass a, a day. And I know for me, just the the, ex the experience has been amazing and what I've uh, benefited from. So anyhow, I have I have my wife's longer burger basket here and uh, let's go pick some of this curly leaf kale. You know these row covers have been a real blessing for me. These are what you call low tunnel hoop houses. They're about four feet wide. By the time you push them in the ground they're about three feet high and you know I plant all my brassica plants underneath these row covers because here in Pennsylvania zone 6 at least you know the cabbage butterfly lay eggs underneath the leaves of all your brassica plants you know your kale your collard greens your cabbage cauliflower broccoli those are plants that are some of the plants that are in the brassica family and so for me it's worth a little bit of time and effort in the beginning of the season to, to plant my seedlings under these it just really makes my garden season a lot more enjoyable if I'm not constantly battling pests out in the garden. And uh, that's also why I use my composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil. Is that I, uh, it's basically a certified weed-free uh, soil that I put in my garden. And uh, it just makes, again, my gardening, gardening a lot more enjoyable. But anyhow, these plants have been in here since like April 8th. And so, uh, we have harvested a few leaves from the other side, but I never really had done a harvest video on on these beautiful and tasty curly leaf kale plants. So what I need to do is take a, a minute here and just remove some of these brick here and then peel back the cover and then we'll take a peek. And so let's start from this corner here. I always love un unveiling, but these look beautiful. 
I do have a few weeds on this side. While I have this cover over or removed back, I can go through and, and remove a few of the weeds. But anyhow, let's take a closer look at these plants. And so you can see how nice and lush and healthy these plants are. It's just amazing how you can grow your own food for only a couple dollars. And so let's take a closer look at these beautiful kale plants. But you can see that the leaves just haven't been touched or eaten by any of the garden pests. And look at how big and healthy and strong these are. Growing, growing them under these row covers creates a nice micro environment where they're protected by a lot of your hot summer suns and, and again your garden pests. So these are really disease free which allows them to reach uh, full maturity and size and, and health. And so like I mentioned earlier, these are pick and come again. So again, you just want to focus on picking the outer leaves, the outer stalks. But look how, how beautiful this leaf is and how large. Again, just from one little teeny tiny seed these plants have emerged from. So it's just amazing. And so you want to go through and pick out the, pick the larger leaves on your plant. Uh, and, and even leaves that may be blocking some of the sunlight from, from, from some of the other plants. So. I'm going to pick some of these along the outer edge here that are up against the row cover. You know, this, you want to keep them harvested too, but it'll, it'll uh, allow the air circulation around your plant. But I'm looking forward to making some smoothies with this, and I also just like chopping the kale up with and steaming it and then having it with some brown rice and adding a little bit of uh, flavoring. I like using the liquid amino, uh, Bragg's liquid amino in a lot of my dishes. I actually buy a whole bottle of it and then I water it down and you know I have another empty bottle of Bragg's liquid amino and then I add water half and half and I and then I add that concentrated liquid to both bottles so I'm actually buying two bottles for one but that's one of my favorite flavorings. But anyhow, these large leaves are really going to fill up this basket really quick. Just going to grab a few more here. And you also, through the season, may want to go through. You're going to find that, you know, some of the lower leaves maybe are dying off and you just want to keep on top of that. Maybe go through once a week and thin any dying leaves that are on your plant. I'll pick a few more here. I think it's going to fill the basket. Here's another big leaf. And so anyhow, you can see that we have a nice full basket of kale. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden, harvesting this beautiful and tasty and healthy curly leaf kale. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com and there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.